I've been training at this dojo for three years now. Same building, same place, people come and people go. But the dojo isn't just the building, physical space, some gym where you just train and then you go home. It's the community. We're all very different people, but in the dojo, we are one. So I wake up early in the morning. First thing I do is go and train. If I compare the days that I don't train to the days that I do train, I feel a hell of a lot happier when I do train. Running, stretches, stances, kicks, forms, meditation. I like to mix it up. Circle martial arts has definitely taught me how to adapt. But right now, the wind's blowing directly towards us. We've recently been told that the building is set to be demolished, so we need to relocate to another place, but we have very little funds. And we can't let what we've built for so long fade away for the simple lack of money. A group of people who are connected purely on self-improvement and challenges will not be shaken so easily. We'd love to expand, we'd love to do more activities, more adventure, more training, more laughs, more opportunities to grow together, but the money is the one thing that we need first. So just to show you how special this dojo really is and why we need to keep it open, here's a video of me on TV over three years ago. Shikan Harimitsu Daikum Yo. The young man from Barry who wants to tell others how martial arts can help with mental health and emotional problems. Yeah, Harry Stott struggled with his mental health after drug abuse but found the discipline of practicing martial arts aided his recovery. He's enlisted the help of Fixers. That's the campaign that gives young people a voice to get his message across. I love doing martial arts. It's helped me to be more centred and to be more peaceful within myself. I didn't always used to be like this. Six months ago, I was in hospital. I had quite severe mental health problems. I couldn't perform basic bodily tasks like washing and going to the toilet. I, I literally lost my mind. Like I wasn't connected with reality at all. I'm Harry Stott, I'm 18 and I'm from Bury. I'm working with fixers to inspire people to take up martial arts. I'm going to be making a short film to show how it can help people mentally and emotionally. The last few years, my main focus was getting out of my head through like, taking drugs and going absolutely wild. It got more and more intense and I lost control completely. It was psychotic and I was admitted to hospital for um, several months. When Harry was sectioned, it was terrible. You know, the kind of um, things he was doing was not like Harry at all, you know, the, the drawing on the walls and the lashing out at people is not like Harry at all. And, yeah, it's one of the most terrifying things we've gone through, you know. It's heartbreaking to see him in that state. Coming out of hospital, I knew I needed to change my life and I felt as though martial arts would definitely be the right path to go down for my mind and for, for getting strong. I'm training around 11, 12 hours a week. I don't drink, I don't smoke, don't do any drugs. I want people to know that if you train martial arts, that you can utilise that to help you in any aspect of life. I think there is a good evidence base to demonstrate that there is a relationship between practicing a martial art and having more focus and being able to perhaps manage some emotional states, more destructive emotional states, with a little bit more creativity. I think it's the discipline. Uh, martial arts requires discipline, commitment, focus. So if you're willing to put that work in, uh, there will usually be a beneficial effect. I could have got involved with drugs or getting drunk all the time and wasting my energy on negative things. And so I'm glad that I found martial arts to help me through that. It's given me a whole load of self-esteem and, and a feeling of self-worth and self-confidence. My parents died when I was 16 and focusing on martial arts just gives you, gives you something positive to, to do and it, it makes you feel proud as well, I think, to, that you can do all of that. <laughs> I want people to, to see my story as an example that can help them. I want to be positive and I want to inspire people, keep them excited about life.